So today is the day that Vincent van Gogh died, and Vincent van Gogh is the quintessential artist. When you think of an artist, you think of a tortured soul, someone who would cut off their ear like van Gogh did, somebody who had to paint to live, and he painted to live, somebody who was almost driven uh, to the insane asylum by his own creative genius. That was Vincent van Gogh, uh, an introvert, a passionate, emotional artist who didn't really necessarily have the skill set, the facile technical ability of a John Singer Sargent or a Zorn or a Soroya, but had so much emotional energy and vitality in his strokes and his imagination that he really represented a great, true master uh, and really got better and better as his life continued. He got to be a better and better draftsman. But let me show you Van Gogh. Look at his work. I mean, it is so powerful, so emotional, and so deeply profound. You could feel like he takes the imagination and the soul of the sitter and puts it up on canvas. And even when he's doing um, his palettes are so unusual. And that's partly because he's not technically trained. Obviously, he's trying to paint realistically, but he's got this kind of sickly tone for the flesh color. And he uses that tone and puts it in the background. So he keys that character. And then what does he do? What does he do? He puts that red there, that strange red, which is complementary color mixing. And that sets it off. It creates this kind of energy that's vibrating against each other. So he's really kind of intuitively playing with complementary color mixing and intuitively playing with people's emotions and people's energies. And then when he paints a still life, it's not a still life, it's not normal. No, it's alive. It's energy. Those sunflowers have personalities. They have a magnetic charm about them. They're kind of angst and tortured in their own way and he's able to capture the spirit and the life force and vitality of that. Even a sunset, look at that. It's not a normal sunset, it's not a bucolic sunset. It's this really painful, powerful, passionate sunset that's beaming into the field. And it's all in warm light and then the sower that's laying seeds is in cool light. And what a really wild dichotomy of warms and cools. And on, on, upon closer inspection we look at it and what do we see? Oh my God, he's painting with a palette knife and it's really thick, it's creamy, it's, it's, it's layered, it's deep, it's profound. And that really echoes the, the, the spirit of how uh, Van Gogh paints. He paints with his soul. He doesn't paint with his hand, he doesn't paint with his head, he paints with his heart. He paints with conviction. Uh, and that's why in my mind, Vincent van Gogh makes it into the canon of the top 10 greatest artists in the history of the world. It shows you that he doesn't have to have Michelangelo's drawing ability or Rembrandt's painting ability because he's got the soul and spirit of a great artist and he's able to convey that because a great painter can capture the soul and the essence of the sitter and put that onto the canvas. They're able to do that. Van Gogh was one of the few artists in history who painted with his heart, welcomed us all in to experience and see the world through his eyes. And when we do, we feel something. We might not know uh, how he did it. We might not really care. But we feel something that's, that's powerful, evocative, haunting, and genius. He is a true genius, a true master. So for all of you who don't know him, get to know him. And for all of you who do, I'm sure that you can agree with me. I throw my hands up. Vincent van Gogh.